there. Neither side has played on this wicket very much at all, so no one's got much history about this particular track. What I see here is a mosaic sort of look. It is quite hard, but I still think that some of the movement will happen where these cracks are, and it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. A, in the first 10 overs, I think there might be a little bit of movement for the faster bowlers, but more importantly, towards the end of the innings, between overs 40 and 50, there's going to be very low bounce. It's not going to be easy to score. I think uh, Ricky Ponting, when he wins the toss, he will definitely want to bat. I'm just not sure about MS Dhoni. He'll be very suspicious of this wicket. The spinners are going to play a big part. What does Damien Fleming think of this? OK, thanks, Barry. Bit of bowlology speak this morning with a spin flavour. Brad Hogg's been excellent for the Australians in the last two games. Harbhajan Singh played a big part for India last game. The tough thing about playing Harbhajan Singh is when he get his length right with that extra bounce where the Australian batsmen are reaching for the ball in this way. Also, it's a variety of deliveries. Which way is it going? If you don't pick him through the air, is that where the white ball is there? Is that the douche? or the off spinner is only about five centimetres away. If you're not picking him in the air, you're in real trouble here. Where he does get complacent for the Australians is just not where that big ball is there, it's the little white ball there. And where Australians can hit him safely onto the leg side, there's not much danger there. If he is going to get full, he needs to get outside off stump, make the Australians hit through the offside, where the offside field is set, or if it's turning, to be able to turn in and maybe bowl them through the gate. But for India to win this game today, Harbhajan Singh needs to be a big wicket-taking option. And then the spinners are going to play a hugely important role. How many times have we heard that in the subcontinent? Let's uh, hear from the two captains because Ramiz Raja is with them for the toss. It's an absolute gorgeous day in Chandigarh as we have the two captains and the match referee. I think MS Dhoni has the coin. Heads. Heads is the call from the Australian captain. It's a tail. It's come down as a tail. So India have won the toss. What is it going to be, MS? Well, we're looking to bat first. Right then, uh, Michael, I mean, three changes. Uh, Murli Karthik in, Saurabh Ganguly is in, RP Singh also in, in that Indian side, and India get to bat first. Yeah, I'm not sure what sort of form Ganguly is going to be in, but I, I don't mind the fact that he's coming back to team up with his own, uh, old partner. The, the big one for me is RP Singh. I mean, where's he been? He bowled beautifully in South Africa during the 2020 Championship, and uh, I think he should have been playing from the start. So he gets his opportunity, and uh, from an Australian point of view, Bracken's back. You know, he's uh, been the quality, their number one uh, one-day bowler for the last couple of years. So I think that strengthens things up. But it's always a hard selection. Stuart Clark misses out. You reckon it's a good decision on part of Mahindra Singh Dhoni to go ahead and bat first on the wicket? Oh, he has to. He has to take charge and, and try and change the formula, change the momentum by scoring a big total, which is exactly how Australia have been winning these matches, he, that you can create so much more pressure if you're, uh, you've got that total on the board. And the batsmen can actually bat without pressure because they don't know what a good score is. So you can just go about business without this run rate situation, you know, you know you're behind the run rate or, and that's, that sort of stuff. So I think this is a must for India and this gives them a real chance in this series. Right then, we'll wait and see as to how the game panned out. It's India that have won the toss and they've elected to bat first. There is Saurav and Sachin, the most successful batting pair for India. Back at the helm, Saurav Ganguly has been a bit of a problem in this series. Hadn't had much to do, he was injured. Sachin Tendulkar has well been batting exceedingly well in England, but hasn't really carried on from there in this series so a bit of um, I wouldn't say pressure but really it is a situation that they have to now contend with they're walking in very purposefully but uh, the fact has been that India have lost wickets up front so you're right that they might even be thinking rather than exploit the field restrictions make sure that you get in about four runs and over four four and a half runs and over but make sure that you don't lose wickets that's important and it's going to be whatever happens in this wicket is going to happen now it's a nine o'clock start it's going to be maybe moving around a bit for the grass. There's no moisture, that's for sure. But um, whatever little, relatively speaking, off this wicket is going to happen up front. Yeah, and it's a very, very fast outfield. I was walking across it. It's as hard as a rock. It looks like it's got a good grass cover, but underneath that, it's very, very hard. So the ball is going to run quickly. There might just be a little bit of reverse swing in between overs, say, 29 and 35. There just might be uh, that period of play where you'll have to watch yourself. But 
I think the ball come on nicely. Lee is uh, of a, a pace, 140 plus, so you only have to get the ball into the gap, and it's going to race away on this field. It's going to be a great contest. Will it swing? We'll soon see. Well, Brett Lee has the ball. You've just seen the two massive figures of uh, Ganguly and Tendulka. All set. Ganguly facing, and Brett Lee has a new ball in his hand. They've got the orthodox field set. Six on the off, three on the on. Two slips waiting. Right behind that one, Ganguly. You do get the impression that the Indians, when they have very little to clutter their minds now, this is that kind of a situation. It's a do or die kind of a situation. That's gone fine. That's four. He has this ability, we've got to wait for the signal, it is off the bat. Plays that shot very fine, gets inside the line when it is around leg stumpish. Now I thought it would just come off the pad for a minute, but uh, just got the bat to it. Yes, nicely done. Invades Gilchrist. So just straying down the leg side, that was the attempted bouncer from uh, Brett Lee. He's back to international cricket, he was away for wife just gave birth to a baby boy that's come in that can be very close indeed was there a hint of inside edge but certainly the ball bending into Tendulka perceptible in swing oh dear I reckon this is very very close maybe height would have been just uh, saved him Th this is very close pitched on I reckon that's he's not that far forward he might have had a little bit of doubt about the, the height but that's mighty close didn't hit the bat no it certainly missed the bat but there were two sounds maybe the bat hitting the toe of his front foot yes there is certainly the ball bending into the right-handed Tendulka That's gone for four and it's wide to boot, so that'll not please Ricky Ponting. No, that won't. He's looking for the in-swing there, again looking, searching for the LBW, uh, Brett Lee, but he's just straight down the leg side. A little bit of movement in uh, Adam Gilchrist. Just wonder, it's going to be a, a bit of a nightmare for keepers, this uh, particular track, because it's not carrying. So where you stand is going to be very, very important. And I think I've got the feeling there that uh, Gilchrist may be just a, a tad too far back. Ball dying before it gets to him. Oh, what's happened there? Has they got the man? Well, whatever the sound is gone between maybe bat and pad. Just off the pad, maybe. Could Inside be edge. a... Inside edge. So? Inside edge, I think that's what they were appealing for. And I'll be, uh, I'll be surprised if there isn't a little tickle on the inside here. Let's have a look. Ah, yes, you may be right there, Barry. No, any other pad. Two bits of luck for Sachin. He's on one, and he's had more knocks already because he was out LBW in my opinion. Now he's got an inside edge. So the, the poor old umpy's not having a good one this time. Just feel something's got to give. There's got to be a boundary, catch, run out chance. Something's going to happen. You called it. <laughs> Something almost did happen. Uh, Brett Lee is, uh, that's the area that he's hit uh, when he's been bowling to Ganguly. He's bowling from over the wicket, so he's angling it away. And he has the ability to get the ball in to Ganguly been a little bit on the shortish side that has been creamed through the covers just the the length that Ganguly had to work on there was some space as well but a little far away from his body went for it and it came off yeah back desire just had to feel that a boundary was just going to release the pressure a little bit and Sarah Ganguly has provided that that's one of his strengths, is hitting through the offside. He is such a good timer through the offside. Look the uh, hardness of the ball. Look at it racing over the outfield. 
take a look at the dimensions of the ground it's about 68 meters they're all about the same about 75 yards longer on one side that's 75 meters so when you come onto this side it goes to about 68 69 that's well played and that's through as well it's a fast outfield there's no stopping that now that's the end of the sixth over it's 21 without loss Rosie's needed to strike early with this little bit of swing about just stood tall and again let the ball come onto the bat and it just races this outfield is very hard anything off the middle of the bat is going to get full value Standing nice and tall, Sarah Ganguly. And that's pretty close. It might have been sliding down leg. Again. Oh, I tell you what, they're not happy, the Australians. And this is mighty close again. Would it have hit the leg stump? I thought maybe sliding down. And if at all, it'd probably be just clipping leg stump, the outside portion. I got the impression initially that not out. Well, if it, the, that's out. You know, I thought it was. You know, I thought it was pitched on hitting. Uh, Hayden knew it. Gilchrist knew it. Lee knew it. Too fast for the umpire. It's too fast for the batsman. So uh, it's going to be f way too fast for the umpire. It's in the air. But again, what a day he's having, Tendulkar was in the air forever and fell in no man's land might be one of these days for Sachin might just take one shot and then he's away but on this occasion pitched in short off the shoulder of the bat went in the air was in the air for a, a long time could have gone anywhere but fell safe so Sachin Tendulkar living dangerously Let's see in the graphic, all of them having got over 10,000 runs in Monday Internationals. This has gone fine. This will be a huge relief for the crowd and for the batsmen. Much needed boundary. Mitchell Johnson sprayed a couple down the leg side. So far this over on this occasion, Seraph Ganguly just getting a little bit of bat on it. Good deflection. It's always going to be four once he got back on the ball. That'll give Ganguly some confidence. Desperate dive from Gilchrist, can't stop it. It's been signaled wide by Shastri. The batsman run two more, three to India's total. Got over the top. Good aggressive intent from Ganguly. Got the elevation as he got the distance now. Well stopped. Enough time for Ganguly to pick up three. Not quite out of the middle of the bat, Sarah Ganguly, but showing his intentions. He wants to take the Australian bowlers on. Going across his stumps. Little shimmy down the wicket and a flick of the wrists. Fair bit of height on that, so he didn't get the boundary, but three more runs to the total. Endeavouring the toss and deciding to bat first this time. A bit of partnership going on. 47 for no loss. Kanguli has been the dominant partner. Bit shaky, haven't lost any wickets yet. Oh, and he advances, he hits it well, over point. Ganguly freeing his arms. Well, he's fifth four here, so pressure on Nathan Bracken. He's looked good in this innings, sort of Ganguly. Well, this is such an important game for uh, all the three seniors. And he has uh, shown them why he's still uh, got to be involved in Indian cricket, in one day cricket at least. Terrific slice of a point earned him a four. And a tidy shot there to get himself off strike. It's probably the first time we've seen some a batsman advance down the pitch. 
Oh, it's a wild throw. Also backed up there by Matthew Hayden. Oh, so good, Cooley. I got that out. Went to hit the leg side. Got a thick edge and gone over cover. So he's going to move around the crease. He's not going to get stuck with that inconsistent bounce, getting caught on the crease. Good proactive stuff. Got away with it here. He is looking to play it over mid-wicket and mid-on and then decided that uh, it was far enough around that off-stump area to maybe give it a push over covers. Lucky escape. Simons and Ponting at cover. Gets on the leg. There's no fine leg. So it's flying away for four. Good timing. Mitchell Johnson getting his line wrong. So a four to finish the over. India 61 for none. Saurav Ganguly now flowing with a bit of rhythm. Very good strike. Wrong line from Mitchell Johnson. Bad idea to bowl on his bats because he's so fluent in that particular area. Doesn't like the shot pitch stuff, but when it's in his range, in that, uh, in that area, he can uh, flick it away for a four. 13 matches and six wickets for Hopes. Pretty decent all-rounder. Oh, he gets some width there and he loves it. That has flown. Brett Lee is a fast, fast outfitter. He dives despairingly. So even though he hasn't been in the best of form, footwork hasn't been moving that much. If you give him any room, he's just got such beautiful timing for the way there. He has uh, probably seen off uh, a tough period, Sachin Tendulkar, now time to milk the bowling. James Hopes not as quick as uh, some of the other Australian bowlers and a bit of width. And Sachin Tendulkar with a masterclass shot through point. And he's got one on the legs now. He's quick. He wants at least two. And that's what they'll get. Johnson doing work in the mid-wicket area. And there's the bowling so far. Brett Lee was superb. It was fast and furious. But unsuccessful in the wickets tally there. Nathan Bracken, his first game in this series, swung the ball around, as did Mitchell Johnson and James Hopes. Just the first over. Beautiful day for cricket. India have got themselves into a, another comfortable position. Oh. Down the left side wide. Gilchrist hasn't got down to it. It's going to go all the way for four. So costly for the Australians. It's been a bit of a twister so far for Adam Gilchrist. Against fast bowling, variable bounce uh, did hurt him once or twice. It didn't turn, so made life difficult for Adam Gilchrist. Extra man now going into the covers, but they've hung in there. Oh, and, it's a big, and he's gone, a snick behind Adam Gilchrist, a great catch up to the stumps. Hopes does the damage for the Australians, Ganguly has to go. Well, I thought they had super glue on their fingers today, the umpires, but umpire Buckner eventually are raising his finger. And James Hopes has done the job. Just a little bit of an outside edge, it bobbled a bit, always difficult standing up to the crease. James Hopes goes up. So does the umpire's finger. Ganguly's got a go. He's played pretty well, Sarah Ganguly. 91 for one. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> the local boy. There it is. Welcome to the uh, home ground. And what a reception he got. Nice platform has been laid, 91 on the board when Yuvraj comes to the crease. Exciting stroke player. He's already got 100 during uh, this series. <laughs> well, we found that out in the T20, there wasn't either. Look like you're colouring in there, Baz. Right, there's his career stats. On the increase, great strike rate, and the average is creeping up now. I think he's really worked his game out over the last year or so now. Yuvraj Singh turning into a real star. Changing the bowling. Mitchell Johnson back into the attack. 
Tendulkar on strike. Great shot. Great shot. That is a pure example of using the pace of the bowler to your advantage and playing the ball nice and late. Just stood up on his toes here, didn't he, Tendulka? And you're right. It's better way, just using the pace that the delivery's bowled at. Third man had no chance. Playing a little joke on him, just angled away. It'll only be the one that... Yeah, some interesting results in the World Cup overnight. Chris Board is an Englishman, uh, knows how much Stuart Clark was upset by Australia losing 12-10 to England in the Rugby World Cup. And I thought he'd just uh, get the message over. He flicked away for four. Oh, well fielded. Talk about the Rugby World Cup. There it was. I thought that had to be four. Brad Hodge, true commitment. I think Sachin thought it was going to be four as well and uh, gave up on the running. Flicked away. Yeah, what a save. Brad Hodge. Normally the Australians dive on their stomach and go with their hands. On this occasion, going with his foot. Keeping the ball inside the boundary. Beautifully struck. A little bit of width here. And again. Oh, this time over he goes and it's four for Sachin Tendulkar. Hodge not happy. That fairly sped across the outfield. All of a sudden Tendulkar looking a little bit better. Square drive. Brad Hodge. A lot of work to do round to his right. That was just timing. More in control of that shot, Sachin Tendulkar. Oh, on a leading edge. 108 for one. Australians pride themselves on their fielding. And Ganguly, the man to go. 41. Tendulkar all of a sudden looking better. That's gone through. That should end up with the boundary, but we just got to wait for the umpire signal. Are these going to be wide? Yes, there are. <laughs> Not happy. That is the third time it's been five wides. Yeah, tough work on Adam Gilchrist. Full and down the leg side. You lose sight of the ball. The batsman's in your way there. So another four wides for the Australians. Catch! That is in the air, but also in the gap. That is exactly the gap that he was searching for. Four welcome runs for Yuvraj. Second time for the over, Hogg has got outside off stump and without reading it out of his hand, I was waiting for it to be the wrong one to turn in, but they've turned away. Yuvraj, all he had to do was get the timing right, split Simons and Hayden. Hogg knows he just hasn't got it right there. That's a good hit. No stopping that one just posed for the photographs there you've right he did didn't he that's a brilliant shot he's a lovely player to watch high back lift stable feet head over the ball rolling the wrists beautiful timing and placement Didn't quite get that gap, but the result is the same. This time to the left of Simons. 50 of the partnership comes up. But this is what happens when you try and advance down against a spinner. Sometimes you can at least push him into bowling a short delivery. Yeah, he's changed his length, but also his line. That's generally the line that Hogg bowls for his wrongen, not his Chinaman. And he's just letting Yuvraj get time on the back foot. So that's the partnership between these two, 54 of 66. Yuvraj, 25 of 37, the more aggressive. Tendulkar is playing a part now. Struggled in the beginning. Now he's obviously holding one end up and wants to bat the 50 overs out. 
soak up balls. So he's got to be busy hitting the gaps. Like that there. Just gets to Clark's right and they're going to go for two. And that's 50 for Sachin Tendulkar. Yuvraj wants a third. Not there. So the little master brings up yet another 50 against Australian one day cricket. He's 84th 50. It's the most in one day international history. Taking over from Inzaman Al Haq. So plenty more to come from Sachin. Oh. Well, he's put that away in the gap. That will be four. That is intelligent cricket. That's the end of the 32nd over. Good batting that over from Tendulkar. Was looking to rotate the strikes, but what he's done, which the Australians haven't provided a lot of, is you get the bad ball and you've got to put it away. Full toss outside off stump. Many a time that goes straight to the fielder, but he timed it beautifully right into the cover gap. Four runs. Oh, oh that's nicely done. Very delicate, and he finds the fence. So that's clever cricket. That is beautiful timing there from Yuvraj Singh. That later was almost overdue. Been watching what Bracken's been doing and previously coming towards Nathan Bracken. This time just rocking back on the back foot. Opens up his wrists. Knows the third man's quite square. Excellent shot. Played that fine and it's gone through. Predetermined shot, but he's really adapted it. Backs himself and he pulls it off. And they can do that because, as I was saying, Nathan Bracken breaks up the pace, but he's not doing it this over. It's too predictable. The Indian batsmen know it's going to be a slow ball, every ball. So if you've got time to rock on the back foot, as we saw with the Uvraj late cut to third man, lovely, lovely lap shot there from Sachin Dendulkar as finally goes back now. A single. Ten runs from the over. 40 runs have come in the last five overs. Ah, oh, that's... That looked dangerous over pitch but it's going to end up on the fence. So boundary is coming now. A little perturbed is Ricky Ponting. Brilliant shot. Almost thought for a moment that Yuvraj had yorked himself. He got that high back lift, but he got it down. And we know about his power. What about the subtle wrist action there? So not a lot of help for the quicker bowlers. Okay, he's managed to hit that from the middle of the bat. And has he got a boundary? Not really. But just the one. Well, it was all happening there. Very entertaining stuff from Brad Hogg. Yuvraj has absolutely smashed that. And for a moment he thought that was all way going for four. Hoggy misfields and then does a good buttering up job there. Almost goes through the fence. And he saves three. Great work. Great work there by Hogg. Oh, he's clear. He's clear. Yeah, perfectly done by Hogg. Coming back to this changed ball, uh, uh, Flem, I, I get the, or at least supposedly, the ball has, has to be 34 overs old. It can't be a hard ball. It's got to be an old ball which is cleaned up and brought out. Goes for the big one and is taken by Ricky Ponting. Yuvra Singh falls and this is a big wicket for Australia. Situation tailor-made for uh, Yuvraj Singh's bonanza batting, but uh, he failed, didn't middle it. Good reward for Hopes. He bowled a very good over. Yuvraj looking to go over mid-on, mid-wicket. All he could do was get high on the bat, straight to Ricky Ponting. Simple catch for the Australian captain. The hometown hero has to depart for 39. He was looking good. India, 174 for two. The latest pin-up boy in Indian cricket, MS Dhoni, is out there promoting himself up the order. 
Indian captain uh, thinking out of the box to uh, derail Australia. Sending it Yuvraj at number three after strong partnership between uh, the two openers. And now is promoted himself up the order. So he can expect a bit of aggression from him. Using captain's discretion, get himself up the top of the order. But I think it's a good move. Proactive move. Straight over the bowler's head. He'll be disappointed with that dismissal. 39 he made. Off the hip of Dhoni. That would be a leg by, no. Off the mark. Umpire doesn't signal anything. I think they've done well. One less batsman they're playing today. Dravid, probably the next man in. Is galloping Emerson. He'll come back for the se second. Matthew Hayden gets there, but second run is taken. India's scoring rate just about to start the 40th over. Just the two wickets lost. It's the best thing India have got going for them at the moment. Really push on in the last 10 overs. Matthew Hayden has it covered, the throws in, Sachin Tendulkar just struggling a little bit in his uh, running but he gets there just in time, good cricket, good shot and Matthew Hayden really had to uh, tackle the ball aggressively which he did, strong throw in but Sachin was it in. Yeah, good call Ramiz, he couldn't have done any more Matthew Hayden, got to the ball quickly, quick release over the stumps, a good running from Sachin timed his run nicely deceived by a slow delivery from James Hopes been there for all of the innings seen all the bowling oh brilliantly played what a shot from Sachin Tendulkar there were oohs and ahs from the Australians he had to really play it Otherwise, he was a goner, but what a strike in the end. He's very good at this shot. Look at that. Just a little lap sweep. Fine leg. Inside the circle. If he misses it, he's plum LBW. But good enough to get that on it. Hopes would have thought for a second he would have had Tendorka. Four runs. This time here. Uh targets the cover area is looking good now Sachin Tendulkar and the blue ones are his fours six of those Dhoni goes hard and straight great power Nathan Bracken was at deep mid on had no chance that was bludgeoned to the fence is a powerful hitter in this Dhoni and what a strike from him was in the slot and uh, wind it up and absolutely nailed it. I feel that long on had about uh, a yard to cover it. Ah! No Inside edge, more runs. Four. <laughs> India's 200 is raised. 2 or 2 for 2. Frustrating for hopes. But excellent for India, two fours in a row. Good length, just a little bit of movement back into Dhoni, inside edge. Just misses the stumps and hopes. Can't believe it, frustrated. That's beautifully played by Sachin Tanuka. He's turning it on now for India. Knew exactly where the fielder was and knew what to do with that length. Smart piece of cricket from Sachin. Oh, it's, it's what you do at practice. Slips, catches, but no slips. Angled it away, that's a great shot. Slow delivery, been hammered. Only be one. 
Not a great throw from the deep from Brad Hodge, but uh, no damage done. It was well covered by Brad Hogg. Miron was up in the ring. And he's found the gap. Amos Dhoni has played a very clever cricketing shot. Knew exactly where the fielder was. And even though he didn't middle it, but it was good enough for a four. A lot of bottom hand in this shot. Like a tennis shot. Cross court forehand through mid on. Mid on inside the ring. Four more runs to India. And Miss Dhoni, 19 off just 13 deliveries. Another straight drive. More runs. Another four. Brilliant batting from MS Dhoni. Crowds have come alive. Three fours in this over. The last one, a special straight drive from MS Dhoni. Well, he just looked like he dug that out. It's a slow ball from Johnson. Dug it out, but raced away for four. Last three overs, 35 have been scored by India. So the momentum has certainly shifted in their favour. Just two wickets down. Plenty of petrol in the tank. Tendulkar on 78, Dhoni on 24. And uh, they know that uh, India are, are in a driver's seat winning this little battle this little phase once again he finds the gap chase for uh, Nathan Brecken with a dive he stops the ball what power hitting from MS Tony once again seemed to have just flicked the ball and away it went very quickly once again bottom hand Nathan Brecken during the fielding. Australia patrolling uh, the boundary with their best fielders. Michael Clark is at long on. <laughs> they go for the appeal. Will it be upheld by the umpire? Buckner is not interested. And in fact, uh, the stumps have been broken in his run out. Sachin Tendulkar uh, is uh, walking away from the scene. Obviously, uh, caught napping, was thinking about that strong leg before appeal. He was out of the crease and Australia summed it up very quickly. It was a big appeal from the Australians. Brett Lee was very aware. And he's just missed Gilchrist and a direct hit sends Sachin Tendulkar on his way. So, disaster for India. Good bit of fielding by Brett Lee, Sachin Tadulka. Hard working 79, India. 221 for three. Rahul Dravid is walking in for India. A bit of drama surrounding that uh, Sachin Tendulkar dismissal. There's an appeal from uh, James Hopes and Adam Gilchrist trying that lap sweep. Brett Lee uh, knew exactly what to do with it. The direct hit Sachin Tendulkar had no hope. Adam Gilchrist was pleasantly surprised in the end. This is uh, how it went. <laughs> now the celebrations start. Run out of Tendulkar. Good delivery. Wicket to wicket stuff from Hopes. Surprising choice. It was Uthapa and Irfan Patan, but India opting for uh, an experienced Rahul Dravid with MS Tony. Lee was special. None for 17. Two for James Hopes. He's been good. A couple of men in the deep. Maybe just a second. So India 168. Again on the shorter side. It's just a single, quite lucky to get away. It's the shortest part of the boundary. Buckner was in a spot of bother.
and looking to bowl a lot straighter because of the protection they had on the leg side. Man, it's short, fine leg, man, it's short, mid wicket looking to stop the single. Oh. The whistle go for it, go! Oh, that's the sort of line that he's going. Donny's going for a second, well run. Very well run. Two leg bars, but uh, he's kept the strike. Oh. Just cleared the man. And short extra cover. And good amount of power this time from Raul Dravid. It's a boundary. India needed. Yeah, good shot. And again, the slower delivery in the slot. Raul Dravid just giving himself a little bit of room. He favours that offside. Clearing the leg and just bunting it over the top. Even better. Knew exactly where the fielders were. Back to back boundaries. The last boundary required a lot of skill. That is a very good cricket shot. Intelligent cricket shot. Now the pressure's back on the bowler. Across the seam. Just angled beautifully using all the pace. You don't have to hit every ball as hard as you can. <laughs> Oh. And he's bowled him. Fully linked delivery. Good comeback from Nathan Bracken. Wasn't disturbed by the fact that he conceded nine runs, a third ball, and then a wicket. I suppose it's always on the cards when uh, you've got a type of player who likes to just angle the ball away. He's not really a power player, Rod Driver, so he's looking for that third man boundary again. This time just gave himself a little bit too much room. And if you miss a roll, I'm going to hit, says uh, Nathan Bracken. He does just that, drive it out for the unlucky 13, 244 for four. Robin Uthapa walks out to the centre. uthapa has got the bottom hand into play and he's hit it flat. And he picks himself, his first boundary. He's not going to hang around. 100 and boundaries now, 25 fours. Just in the block hole. And whipped away. Just a fraction too full from uh, Brad Hogg. And I'm sure he won't be disappointed with that. Hitting away on the leg side, he might try the one that goes the other way away from the right-hander. Oh. That's the one. Good pick, Larry. <laughs> Always bowling the googlies, you get that extra bit of bounce and also hitting against the turn. 250 for India. Well, if I was Brad Hogg, I'd be uh, tempted to bowl in a helmet with MS Dhoni because he just whacks it so hard, so straight. Hat. Catch was the call from Gilchrist. He just rocketed to the boundary. Crowd loves it. Was the Yorker and got the elevation required? Uthapa. Just an extension of defense. But perhaps not so effective with the old ball because he provides the pace to uh, play shots like that. When Hogg and Simons are on, you've got to generate the pace off the bat, but when Lee's bowling, you don't need to. Mm, that's a good cricket shot. Picked out his spot. And with Lee into the attack, the wicket keeper can't stand up. That gives the liberty for the batsman to charge down the pitch. That's what Robin Uthapa has done. Again, getting down on his knees to get the elevation. Good strike. Straight down. It's raining boundaries. Barry Richards was wondering why did Uthapa walk in. And Rahul Dravid walked in. And he's been proved exactly right. Uh, it's going to be 280 for sure. Uh, I think if they'd sent him in a little earlier, it might have got to 300 because he's got a full license here and he's playing some terrific shots. Slow delivery and he's just walking down at him. But having said that, they had to get through it. They did and now they've posted a very competitive total. Right into the block hole. Bit of work to do in the deep. Look up single and keep strike. 271 for four. Hard-working 91 between Ganguly and Tendulkar and the ball was doing a great deal. Consolidation, Yuvraj and Tendulkar. 
Agoni and Tenduka started the acceleration 47 just 35 Bracken to bowl the last over Balling Beautifully bowled that, that is a, as good a ball as you can bowl in the last over when there's only four wickets down Just no room and Uttapa gives the charge, Michael Clark is the man headlong on but the placement has been absolutely spot on Certainly got a bit of talent this uh, young man not, not afraid to use it either, he's uh, happy to create the uh, length himself by walking down what would be in the block hole, if he can walk down the wicket he's going to catch it on the full like that Also the placement was terrific. Two very good fielders in the deep. Ricky Ponting was a short mid wicket, just cleared him. Martin Clark is at long on. And Andrew Samus comes to short mid wicket. He's taken the aerial route. And the same result. One bounce into the boundary. What a player. He's turning out to be Utapa. We thought it would be MS that would uh take India to a big title over the last four overs but it's been uh, Utapa it's just played uh, with some lovely freedom just that little shimmy down the wicket it's a bit of a trademark now and Tony is the man on strike can he finish it big two deliveries remain Struck it down the ground. Hogg is normally good. But the outfield is quicker and Dhoni is better. 14 runs have come so far in the last over. Very fast outfield, so don't discount the Australians. Not far to go for uh, Brad Hogg. With no chance. Didn't even get the bend in. So when we get to 290, it'll take a maximum. Well, he's looked for the maximum and he's got it. What a way to sign off. First six of the innings coming in the last ball of the 50th over. And 50 it is for Mahindra Singh Dhoni, the captain. He's played a superb innings. Half century coming in quick time. Just a 35 balls, 5 fours in a 6. And India have finished off very strongly indeed. Giving it is more than 100%. That's the bat swing that we are accustomed to seeing from Mahindra Singh Dhoni. And he takes the aerial route. He hits them quite a big into the crowd. Be very delighted with this Mahindra Singh Dhoni winning the toss. And deciding to bat first. This time around, India looking to set a target. Have done a good job. They've done a very, very good job. Hasn't been easy at all in the office. Conditions favoring the bowlers in the first half. Ganguly and Tendulkar just struggled a little bit, but they fought hard with their experience and the ability. Put on 91 for the first wicket. Ganguly was the first to go. Tendulkar, well, later on in his inning, started to flourish. Played some lovely shots. Unfortunately, run out for 79. Yupraj shipped in with a good partnership along with Tendulkar. Dhoni was quite stunning in the end. Half century reached there with the last ball of the over. And Robin Utapa, 30 of just 18 balls. Nicely paced innings. Took a little bit of time on 20 balls for the first partnership. Then 83, Yupraj and Tendulkar. Dhoni, well, once he's involved, it's going to be runs coming quickly. Lee just the seven overs. Bowled brilliantly, but no wickets for him. Bracken very expensive. Picked up one wicket and Hopes picked up two for 43. And Adam Gilchrist records played a lot of games now for Australia. And a brilliant strike rate. They'd love for him to get off to a flyer today. And his partner up the other end is what they call the big unit. Matthew Hayden, who has been in sensational touch for a long time now, but also on this series can swing the ball both ways there was swing this morning and here we go Zahi Khan with the first delivery to Adam Gilchrist and it's a wide one 
a real tester for MS Dhoni. Not an auspicious start. These Australian batsmen uh, want to kick on very early. This was the other one, the in dipper. That was missed by Adam Gilchrist, hit him on the pads. Australia are away, one on the board, a leg by. All three different, but uh, same uh, left arm stuff. Not a lot of variation. Challenge for uh, Steve Buckner. Good delivery came back, bit of extra bounce for Zahir Khan. Only half an appeal from the Indians. Zahir Khan generally taking it away from the left-handers, but on this occasion, just getting one to move back into Adam Gilchrist. And takes the top of his pad. Very well bowled. Beautiful seam position, nice and upright. Runs for Adam Gilchrist, he's running hard. Inside edge will earn him a couple of runs. Six without a wicket, Australia. Ganguly Tendulkar provided them with an ideal platform. They counter difficult conditions with, uh, with a lot of intelligence. Oh, goes for the big one, Matthew Hayden. What a shot. Terrific drive, a real heavyweight punch. It was in the air, but it was hit very hard. And it was in the gap, just going through with the shot, Matthew Hayden. On the up. No need to run for those. Adam Gilchrist's grip holds it so high. Oh, and that's hit. And that's six. Matthew Hayden, with that grip, gets very good leverage. Was at no stage was he trying to keep that on the ground. Was always going for six. Hit it straight out of the middle of the bat. He was always one hit away from being in uh, top gear. And uh, this stroke should settle all the nerves. Brilliantly picked up by Adam Gilchrist. Picked up the links so early. Just one slip in place now. Short delivery from Zahir Khan. Knocked the link to ball to Adam Gilchrist made it look ridiculously easy Adam Gilchrist that pick up pull shot played with so much of ease it's just not that short really I thought it was only just over stump high and it was he's just picked the length up beautifully Adam Gilchrist so good at that shot Adam Gilchrist the next ball where he can maneuver the bowler's length see how full this next one is is flowing Adam Gilchrist because when he comes on to bowl with an older ball we see a lot of variations from him that's gone uh, high and six just a mere flick of the wrist Matthew Hayden is a powerful hitter he advances down the wicket almost walking at the bowler Matthew Hayden but he keeps his head st so still and just a flick maximum runs for Matthew Hayden this has been a good start by Australia keeps his head very still it's the biggest thing for a batsman even if you're advancing down the wicket or staying back in your crease balance India have got to remember they need to take early wickets I just feel at the moment on very defensive everyone's right back on the ring trying to cut down the boundaries another pull shot this should be taken brilliantly placed by MS Tony it worked wonderfully well RP Singh was the bowler Zahir Khan was the fielder the three card trick worked brilliantly the first ball but that fielder was placed there. Adam Gilchrist has hit it straight down his throat. A well-judged catch by Zahir Khan. Adam Gilchrist, promising innings, comes to an end. He made 18, Australia 37 for one. The Australian captain is in. India wanted a wicket very early. Well, they've got one 
They've got rid of Adam Gilchrist, but they've got a deal now with uh, brilliance of Ricky Ponting. First delivery that that fielder was in that position. Is that close enough to call? Maybe a bit of bat involved. Maybe it was going down the leg side. RP Singh did look too convincing. Oh, well done, Utapa. A cover. Swift mover, Utapa. Batted brilliantly. 30 from uh, 17 odd balls. Now feeling well for India. Another one with a 50, you're just almost there. And you want one of your top three or four to get 80 plus. It won't be Adam Gilchrist today. For Hayden's been in superb form this series. And that's a punching shot through mid wicket. Nice and tall. Let the ball come to him. Will it go all the way? It does. Excellent piece of timing there from Matthew Hayden. Well, that's a wonderful shot shot it's pretty imposing the figure of Hayden and what do you do to him when he starts walking walking into every delivery beautifully played leaning over it keeping it on the ground that is magnificent well then what happens if you decide to, to dig it in short next ball and he's not walking at you force him to try and hit squarer that's wide and punished. Pure power, arrogance there from Hayden. He doesn't even look like running for all the way. <laughs> that was quite easily done. Nobody moved. Nobody batted an eyelid either. I mean, it was in the air, but it was so perfectly placed. Just take a look at that. Didn't even try and keep it down. He's standing outside his crease and he's getting a good long foot forward. Beautifully done. Was that court now on the half volley? RP Singh doesn't go up. So he can't in close. Showing some good hands, just couldn't quite get under it. Yes, that is a good effort by Zahir Khan. Just landing just that short. I've never seen Zahir Khan fielding in a catching position, so he's pretty good at it from what I saw. Walks again, yes. Hayden, and gets it through. Hand on it though, so will it go all the way? And it does. Another four for Hayden. Every time he walks down, he makes the Indians pay now. They've really got to find a way of limiting him when he's walking into the shot. Maybe get Dhoni to come up. I don't know, but at the moment. He's just getting away with everything. And this time he pitched it short and just stood on his toes and hammered it through the covers. There he is. Uh, over the years, he's, he's getting better. <laughs> awesome. That's, that's frightening. He paid dearly for, actually, the 2005 Ashes lost. It wasn't so much his one-day form, but the selectors felt like they needed to make some changes. Got himself back in last summer, and he hits over the top. Will it be caught? Arbich and Singh going backwards. Can't get to it. So Hayden just chipping over mid on. Didn't quite get onto it. And safely away. Again, that walk into it, shortening the length. Obviously, gets into a terrific position to make use of it. He's got a lot of power. That's a miss hit. He got away with it. The youngest man make a one day international century at 21. And he slashes over point. Four runs all the way. RP Singh giving Ponting whip. And you don't want to do that. Again, the width. But maybe it's the pressure that the batsmen are putting i don't know but certainly the variable bounce is suddenly
So sector 16 in Chandigarh. First game for 14 years. International cricket. Ponting once again. Punches through mid-wicket. Good timing. RP Singh trying to adjust coming around the wicket and he pays. Well, this is definitely not the line to be bowling to Ricky Ponting. He's so good in that area. He almost magically puts every shot he attempts there into the gap. Beautiful in that area, but the angle and then drifting onto pad line that was just waiting to be hit. Now the two fours that have gone in this over, uh, classic ponting boundaries. One wide outside of stump, hits over point, and the other one onto his pads. A bit like Sachin Dendulka, he murders the ball. Mid-wicket, mid-on area. And that's a better position, but it's an excellent shot. That is a classic cover drive from Ponting. 16 off the over. Not a good over. A little bit of room outside the Austin, but that was played on the up, and he literally caressed it, and the ball sped away. Oh, that's awesome. That's terrific. What timing, what placement. He didn't enjoy it, but he said, a good shot. And he walks again, and he has ma absolutely smashed that over mid-wicket all the way for six. Second one for Hayden. Where do you bowl to this man? Really, it's odd uh, with the kind of speed that the runs are coming in, and I'm taken aback that they've taken the second power play. But look at him. Every time he walks into the shot, something different has to be done, and at the moment, they're not doing it. Bowl a Yorker, bowl a slow one, bowl something different, but don't bowl at him. Now you've got to have a plan, and whatever that plan is, you need to be able to execute it well. Watch his feet. And that's a good ball. Not only is it power, but it is the uncocking of the wrists at the right time, the flick of the wrist at the point of impact. Magnificent. Look at that. Shades of Viv Richards there. But he's still when the ball's released. That's the important thing. He's not moving as the ball's coming towards him. Ah! Jeez. What to see that one given Tarun. Fair way down the track. Very difficult to go. Walks again. He pulls this time. He pulls well to mid wicket. There's another four. Different shot. Same result. Oh, they're literally creaming uh, the Indian attack at the moment. Who would have imagined that this is a difficult wicket? Short. So much time he had. See, the good thing about him walking down is he's not committing himself to anything. He's keeping his options open. Some width there to Ponting. Does he hit it through? And he does. So four very good balls from Patan. And Ponting good enough to put the bad one away. 50 partnership up for Hayden and Ponting. 52 and 40 balls. And that's because of cricket of that kind. Exceptional. Just slightly short. Very decisive in his footwork. Going into the line of the ball. Great balance, everything right about it. I think that would have felt good off Ponting's bat. Another slow ball, leg side, and he has creamed that again. He's in fantastic form, Ponting. So, excellent partnership for the second wicket here. Hayden and Ponting, 56 off 41 balls. Momentum going away from India. So, what can Ganguly do just by taking a little bit of pace off it? It's through. Very much the result that we've seen in the last few overs. Plenty of boundaries for the Australians. 12th one of the innings. I don't know why they took the power play. I suppose that's been raised before, but uh, just at the spinners. Let them have a, a little dabble and see what happens with fielders out and uh, no pace on the ball. Hayden has been superb. Absolutely superb. Fifty. What a fifty this has been. He's dominated the bowlers. 
right from the moment he walked out of bed. Not a huge appreciation from the crowd, but we've enjoyed it. Yes, I think they were a bit stunned at the moment. They thought 291 was going to be a pretty good score, and so did I, but uh, Matthew Hayden's made a mockery of that. Yes. Good call. Brings up the 100. It's been an entertaining partnership. But Matthew Hayden has really been the star so far. Oh, could have been better. Mid on and mid off inside the ring. Harbhajan Singh needed to dive for that. Mr. Bodo, you can't blame anybody else. It's your fault. Australia would be happy to pick up two more. Two men outside the ring. Long on and deep square leg. I think long on's coming in. Man at uh, sweeper point now. I just wonder what line he's going to bowl if he's got the sweeper there. And there's a strong wind coming uh, from that direction, which means that it's going to swing into the right hander. It's got to be pretty wide to go uh, all the way out to cover. Excellent. That's very close. Very, very close. Called immediately and went for it. Running between the wickets so far has been excellent. But directed, you never know. Just a little bit of hesitation could create an element of doubt in the umpire's mind. Let's take another look. Oh, the bass was not even in the picture. Dhoni's missed it. Dhoni's missed the ball. It wasn't a direct hit. Well, he's missed the ball completely. As the ball hit the stump, you clearly see the glove without the ball in hand hitting the stump and the bears come off. No doubt. I think if he picked it up straight away, it would have been gone by a mark. But it's bounced out of the glove straight down. Made a lucky man. Pratap Kumar, the third umpire, taking another look. It loses the ball, Dhoni. And there you go. Very clear from this angle that he's missed it. And India has missed a great opportunity. Should say not out. Hayden missed when he was 53. It's put away. Oh, he's such a dominant player. Anything lose, you've got to pay the price as a bowler. Stunned silence yet again from the crowd, but it's a beauty from the bad Matty Hayden. Yeah, this is one of the problems when you come on as a spinner. It's only a fraction short. That's not a bad ball by any stretch of the imagination, but when you've been in for a while and you've got the confidence that Hayden's got, just rocks back, picks out his spot. Good stop. The pressure was on Harbhajan going for the boundary of the first delivery of the over. It's a good comeback. The Lickstump line is starting to work now. It's played it extremely fine. There's a man at short fine leg. It was the quicker delivery. Ends the over with the boundary. 114 for one. Just too short, too much down the leg side. So even Harbhajan's just struggling a little bit was going to be their trump card appeal from Dhoni for stumping it's being referred upstairs look at Vondi he's actually quite surprised he's shocked he's referred it to Pratap Kumar the third umpire I don't think it's out but it's a pretty useful delivery it goes on the inside of the bat so it's well taken by Dhoni does well there are Let's have a look. Does he get it back? I tell you what, I tell you what, this could be very tough. I think the line belongs to the umpire. Ricky Ponting looked uh, perplexed, but I don't know why. I think Dhoni probably has got it right. The inside of the line belongs to the umpire. 
and the foot's on the crease it's got to be out or so we think taking another look we're quite convinced the line belongs to the umpire now where that toe to me there's nothing i can see that's behind the line but i'm not the umpire that's a very very tough one but i think that might be out that should be out and it is it's a very good decision not very easy sitting in an air-conditioned room we still can't believe it ricky ponting the australian captain cannot believe it and he will look at the replays once he gets back but i think the umpire has made the right decision and it's a much needed breakthrough for india yes uh, certainly looking very very perplexed is uh, ricky ponting but when he does see that replay it might give him an indica indication that he didn't push the thing the uh, back foot back quickly enough the line belongs to the umpire and right there has he got something behind the line it's very tight umpires call it out bunting's got to go 122 for two michael clark is the new batsman he's been good form superb hundred in bangalore plus to 130 good strike rate as well just needed a couple of wickets in there to get back into the match they've got one that are pointing <laughs> 292 the target for australia in some great stroke play from Maddie Hayden. Ponting was the last man dismissed. It's the breakthrough India we're looking at. Irfan Patan once again providing the breakthrough. Plenty of batting still to come. Simons, Hodge, Hopes can all wheel the willow. Lee Hogg and Bracken can be useful. Let down the order. The 20th over coming up. Harvajan into the attack. In the com box is Damon Fleming and Arun Lal. Well, that's a good hit. That's beautifully played. Just the hint of room, not that short. But he's in such prime form, that ball really sped away. It's only a hint, but it's enough. He's almost going to have to pitch on middle stump to Michael Clark. Got beautiful wrists. Gets in a nice position. Just flashes him there. Good bat speed. Excellent placement. To it on the half volley and drive through the covers. So he's an exciting stroke player. Has he got him? Yes, he has. Ball just holding back a bit. This is a big, big breakthrough by Harbhajan Singh. We were just saying that. If India had to prevail, Harbhajan has to be the one to take some wickets, and he has. Well, it's a big wicket because Michael Clark really forced himself into that. The field was set out. He could have just sat in his crease and punched the ball into the gaps. But the Dusha has got him just punching on the up there. Easy catch for Harbhajan first wicket in six games and a very very crucial one so michael clark first party of four the trip out for six and australia 132 for three simons is coming to take the place of michael clark who's a bit of a soft dismissal the the dusra he couldn't quite reach the pitch of it dipping on him kept drawing him didn't he harbage singh drawing him out of the crease have a drive at this finally does one that he's not to the pitch of the ball Harvard and Singh accepts a very, very easy court and bold, but good planning, good execution. Oh! So he's off the mark and he's going to come back for the second. Oh! That's going to be four. Now there's no fielder square on the offside and Harbhajan saying bowling with that field he had to bowl a leg stump line which he couldn't. He's got a field set for the leg stump and he's pitched one short outside the off stump. And it's the off spinner too. Hayden having plenty of time on this slower pitch. Rock back on the back foot. Nice sweep of the bat there. Head right over the top. Oh, that's a good hit. Straight past Murli. Restricting it to one. That's that's really good fielding. Robin of the bar. He's quick in the field. Butaba had a great little cameo with the bat. He's providing a lot of energy here in the field, which is good. You need this from your younger players. 
Excellent pickup. Good throw. It's beautiful drifting in there. So, end of the 25th over, 150 up for Australia. Three wickets down. Over the top. And he does hit it a long way. Minimum of effort from Andrew Simons. Maximum is the result that he achieved. Gutsy shot this. There's two men deep, straight. Mid off and mid on. And Simons just deciding boundary's not big enough anyway. I'm going to go over the top. Stand and deliver. It was a Toba Harbhajan Singh. They're confident, up and up here. Shastri is taken forever, but he's not given it. But the spontaneity in this appeal, we'll have to take another look. No element of doubt in Dhoni's mind, Harbhajan was already celebrating. The Indians were running everywhere, let's have a look. Oh, it might have been his glove, Simons. Dhoni was very confident. May have just been a little deflection off Simons' right hand glove. We might come back to that, but the Indians were very confident. May have been a let off there for Simons. We'll get off strike this time. But the reaction from Andrew Simons, he looked at the umpire straight away. Let's take another look, was deceived in the extra bounce, suddenly hit something, suddenly hit something, that's for sure. Look at Harbhajan. He started to celebrate, couldn't believe it in the end. Shastra says not out. We're lucky to survive, Simons. Indians had uh, their fair of uh, luck as well all evens out close one against Tendulkar caught behind wasn't given early in the innings very expensive the faster bowlers Sahir Khan and R.P. Singh R.P. Singh picked up one wicket the Khan also picked up a useful wicket then the spinners are getting India back in the match Harbhajan very impressive indeed it's up to Murli Karthik to bowl a good spread of eight overs India won the toss this morning and decided to bat first 291 is a good score to defend. Tendulkar Dhoni getting half centuries. Ranguli making a good contribution. Edge will run away to the boundary. Well, every time there has been a little bit of width provided for Maddie Hayden, he's gone hard at that and achieving good results. Tenth boundary in his innings so far. Moves on to 84, Matthew Hayden. Just 79 deliveries, and that was an edge. He's looking to get it a lot squarer than that. He will take the result. Played nicely in the end. It's a quick enough outfield. And he's a strong and strong man. Just guided it to the boundary. Not the greatest of starts for Murli Karthik. But Karthik just pushing that one through, and Andrew Simons would have his areas on the ground where he thinks his four options are and that's one of them some commentary stuff and straight away being asked to come and play against Australia can never be easy and now straight uh, being thrown at the deep end go and perform son <laughs> down the track and he's found the gap brilliant shot that's a four I know Karthik's gone for four there. I'd rather him doing what he's doing and throwing the ball up and encouraging Hayden to go down and play the bigger shots. That's not to say that I don't like his commentary either, Ramiz. flatter trajectory is not going to hurt Matthew Hayden even though he was out of place when he was trying to hit the ball still uh, played it beautifully just extended his arms and getting a four and another one-handed pickup shot this should be taken pressure catch Zahir Khan takes another very good sky India back in it big time 
Well, as I was saying, Ramiz, I'd rather Kartik throw the ball up, hit the ball in the air, you still take a risk. And that time, Matthew Hayden, who's been superb, doesn't quite get onto it. Unbalanced, ends up hitting it with one hand into the air. And Zahir Khan in the outfield. Nice safe hands there, but Matthew Hayden, fantastic knock. 92 of 92, Australia 190 for four. Australia have got a new batsman in who's dropped his gloves, dropped his bat. His uh, track record in this series has not been great. 0 3 3. If he faces up left handed, we know he's in real trouble, Ramos. Now, uh, India would want Brad Hosh to be on strike. Game can't start until you get into your run up, and there's the match summary here. 291 after some early trouble. Contest on. Goes for that uh, straight drive. Will it uh, go across the turf? It's a straight drive and smashed hard for a four. What a shot from Andrew Simons. He had to uh, skip the two fielders on the boundary, which he did quite easily in the end. A few Aussies in the crowd are enjoying this. That's supreme power there from Hodge. Uh, from Simons, he's called two straight away and we talked about the previous four years, this is from 2003 on for Andrew Simons the average excellent 43, 50, 40, 42 and 58 so far in 2007 most Australian top order have had a brilliant year in 2007 but that's a dramatic change from averaging in the 20s is why Andrew Simons is so good and uh, then he can hit the ball with immense power he's got nowhere near middling that I think it's hit pretty high on the bat such as the power that goes good swing of the bat nice and balanced feet are planted so here can I think knew he's in trouble as soon as he saw that ball land short another shot delivery has been cut Andrew Simons will come back for the second, raise his bat because he's got a 50. Third 50 for him in this series. Once again, producing the goods when it is required by Australia. Third 50 in a row. Add a few more overs would be handy because he's very tough for the Australians to get after. The fast mediums have had a tough day at it. Oh, that's an excellent shot from Hodge. Bad delivery from Herbergen once again, darting the ball on the pads of a batsman. Not a good idea. Yeah, once again, I'm surprised by this. Darting the ball into leg stump. Just don't know where you're going to get wickets there or dot balls. So, Hodge, making the most of his opportunities, now gets up to 15 off 25 at that boundary. Bit of a release in pressure. going to be difficult to get a decision of uh, leg before in his favor the ball was angling across once again in towards the leg side or leg stump uh, maybe being in the wings for a long time yeah he likes it he likes it he's calling for it Steve Buckner MS Dhoni is absolutely convinced Brad Hodges standing there I think he's gone though I think he's gone and it's been a miserable series for him it's been called a wide. That doesn't matter. Had they got the breakthrough. Great take again from Andrew Singdoni. Not very easy down the leg side. As he overbalanced. Good take. Off in a flash and he's gone. He's gone. If you thought Ricky Ponding was tight, this one is very, very clear. For me, he's the goner. The third umpire, Pratav Kumar, will have to make the decision. I think good enough for me. Is. is it? Is it is the bias? Where the bias? Yeah, I think that's a pretty good decision. Yep, Hodge has got to go. Is that good or bad? James Hope's uh, probably a better striker of the ball. Hodge has had a terrible time. He really struggled on the slower wickets. Can't read the Doozra. And Pelk will be out of form. Not uh, sure it was a great selection. He's out for 17 now. 246 for five. 
all hopes rest on James. And that's all the hopes of Australia, of course. Uh, James Hope's coming to the crease. He's done pretty well with the ball. And he scored uh, 37 in one of the games. Desperate dive. You can see the Indian sense. There is the chance here. And he's bowled him. He's bowled him. Lapses in concentration from Andrew Simons. He's played a superb innings thus far. But what a wicket. India desperately needed something dramatic. And as R.P. Singh produced that, we'll have to wait and see. Huge wicket, just gambling a little bit, uh, Andrew Simons. Trying to give himself a little bit of room. The bowler just went straight at the stumps. And there it is. What a sight for R.P. Singh. Hit the middle stump right at the top, exactly where you should be. That's the reaction from Andrew Simons. He's disappointed. He knows that's huge in the context of the game, but he's played quite beautifully. 268 for six. Brad Hogg is the new man at the crease. Handy batsman, good decent average for left arm spinner, good strike rate too. RP Singh has picked up Simons. Follows up with the dot. Oh, direct it. Is it gone? Yes, he's given it. Not even referred. Two wickets in two balls. And RP Singh in India are coming back into this match quite nicely the crowd has come a lot and so have the indian fielders that's beautifully done too anxious brad hogg too anxious you can't hit it back to the bowler and expect to get a run he's actually hit it into his pads he thought it was going to go onto the, the leg side took his time bang well out two and two It'd be a different kind of hat trick but it could be 268 for seven What to know what the last one dramatic turnaround in this match 24 from 18 Brett Lee walks out a change in field three men in the ring on the offside to save the single the short fine leg has come on the offside what about a wide that goes for four <laughs> he won't be popular with his skipper I think he'd probably go off the other way here we go. Last over. Firmly struck. And what a way to start the over for an Australian supporter. Great shot under pressure to pick up a boundary. Now then. In the slot. Thank you, says James. He's got a target mid-wicket if he can, and Zahir Khan, of course, is going to try and get it in the block hole. Oh, that delivery. Totally getting excited, almost missed it. And now it's 11 from 3. Oh, well done, Zahir Khan. Oh, there is confusion all around. Overthrows. But everything happening out there. Plenty of confusion, excitement and entertainment. So nine runs required from the last ball. A delivery full of length into the block hole. That's a great way to finish. India have won. And this has broken a long spell. India last won against Australia at Brisbane. In 2004, by 19 runs, and after 11 matches, it managed to beat the world champions in the 50-50 format. Yeah, four marks to India. They played pretty well today. They had the worst of the conditions when the uh, batsmen went out there. Sachin Tendulkar and Sarah Kanguli had uh, quite a lot to contend with, but they held their nerve. They put on a good partnership, laid a platform. The Aussies only have themselves to blame. 39 extras. That's not what you expect from a side as good as that. And then uh, also Mahendra Singh Dhoni, 20 in the last over of Nathan Bracken, and that proved to be decisive. So India win by eight runs, the Aussies falling just short. The series is alive.
It's almost the kind of